Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Sketchbook Wednesday. I believe this is number seven. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh, get a little dance. Mm -mm -mm. See the show with the action? Yes, it's another Sketchbook Wednesday. Now that you've seen me look small, I want to remove my glasses for real. Mm, they're starting to steam up. <laughs> Anywho, so this Sketchbook Wednesday, I decided to draw a male. Yeah, I don't do them often. Let me tell you a little bit about what happened exactly. So, I was on Pinterest, right? Like normal. I pulled up um, a nice cute picture of the homie, Michael B. Jordan. All right, I was like, yeah, let me bang this picture out real quick. Everybody, they up here, join celebrity, <laughs> right? That was my intention to draw Michael B. Jordan. Well, tell me why halfway through the drawing, I'm like, damn, this looks like Grand Pooba, not Michael B. Jordan. I'm like, who uncle is this? So, um, yeah, so that didn't work out. So I had to kind of like alter some things and make the picture really my own. No longer was it a portrait in my sketchbook of Michael B. Jordan, but it was just some random dude. So I added some extra little tidbits um, to the sketch. And I was like, you know what? This is a winner for Sketchbook Wednesday. Mind you, I sketched this late last night. Yes, I'm not doing well with time management and all the family things going on. Um, yeah, one older son is here and the other older son's coming to visit tomorrow. It is already Wednesday, so it's like sketchbook Wednesday evening edition. That's when you guys are going to see this probably in about another hour and a half or whatever. So, yeah, I'm not running a tight ship lately, but I'm doing the best that I can. So, yeah, it's no, it's no shock that this picture came out looking like Grand Puba instead of Michael B. Jordan. So... It wasn't difficult, but it wasn't difficult to make it my own, but I did. You know, I found some little quirks and things that I could do within the aspect of the landscape because I did another two page spread uh, for you guys this week. And yeah, I got to practice, guys. This is what this sketchbook is all about. It is about practice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the picture. Should I show it to you now? You want to see it? So, this is the picture, all right? So this is the picture we'll be painting today. I hope you can see it really good. Um, I tried some graffiti bubble type block letters. I'm not really good at those. It's not my passion to draw them. It never was, but yeah. So um, the kids say it looks a little bit like my husband. I don't think so. No, 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 daddy don't look like that. But anywho. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, I did this picture. It's very vibrant. I love a lot of color. Um, if you don't know by now, I like color. That's my band of black again, y'all. You know, I got to give you the band of black. Third day. Third day that I got to show Sketchbook Wednesday. You just expect Vanna Black to come out. You know what I'm saying? This is. Vanna's time. Anyway. So, yeah. So, this is the picture I did sketch. I don't even know if it's still a little wet because I put some um, glitter stuff on here. And you can't. I don't think you can really see it that well, but it is on here. I tried. I did. Um, yeah. So, this is the picture that um, we're gonna do or you're gonna see in just a few minutes when I do my little talk over, okay? Um, I did use, in this, I used um, some uh, heavy duty acrylics. I used some craft paints too. I used a little bit of uh, some sprays. Um, you can find all of that like at the Hobby store, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, that's all I really use and I use a little bit of this glittery stuff that once again I got from Michaels I got all these products 
from Michaels to use. Um, yeah, so we're gonna jump into that. Oh, 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 and I use watercolor, so you'll see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. I am not good with watercolor, and it's okay. And this, um, we're just gonna have a little chit chat, and I think I want to talk to you about sharing your artwork sharing your artwork i don't know what's going on with this new youtube thing either with the fcc the alphabet people look i don't know what's going on but if a sister get paid um not paid it'd be nice if i did get paid <laughs> but no the sister get fine almost forty three thousand dollars um it's gonna be a donation button up here in a minute that's all i got to say so Let's go ahead and let's get into this and you know exactly what's about to go down. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another sketchbook Wednesday. That's right. So of course, you know, I always throw out the little bit of items that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm not going to talk about them this time. We're just going to like, yeah, just let you see what I toss out here on the table. <laughs> Pretty much my sketchbook, some painting. I do have that. Oh, I bought this little um, watercolor, beautiful little flower petal thingamajig. Yeah, I bought that this time around. And, uh... I don't know. I, I kind of think it's pretty, you know, cool. It's useful. I use a lot of stuff this time around, guys. I'm bringing out watercolor. I'm bringing out acrylic paint. I got craft paint. I got uh, not paper clips, Lord. What is that stuff? Bonded clips, paper towel. You got to use a lot of stuff. I use quite a bit of elements this time around. Um, the craft paint was more like that satin stuff um it was like really translucent very very watery uh those sprays that i'm putting out there those sprays were absolutely they were okay but they dripped a lot they didn't work out too too great but i know they do give a great effect i'm sorry i laugh every time i throw that damn towel in that's me about to begin guys <laughs> so um I did. If you're doing watercolor, you want to make sure you also get the extra little water jar, additional water jar, jar for your clean water. Um, <clears throat> I have no experience doing this, dig on watercolor, but this is all about, this talk today is all about um, showing your art. Whether you're showing the skills you have or you're showing the skills that um, you need improvement on evidently after hearing what happened with my sketch you see that uh, my portraits will definitely need <laughs> Some more improvement. I think it was late at night. So I was pretty tired because I'm actively painting a portrait um, Right now and it looks like the person so I don't know what the heck happened to the Michael B. Jordan situation uh, Ended up looking like Grand Pooba. but anywho when you want to when you want to get better at something and you're afraid the best part i would believe into getting over it is to do it and to show it i i feel like showing your artwork um showing your work even the work you're not too fond of or not too sure about <clears throat> let's go there yet you're not too sure about is important for you to show because it kind of gives you your own personal validation that you tried you attempt it whether you didn't fail or you failed um, is not really that important I feel that as long as you have um, a way to track it that's not necessarily personal I know uh, some people do not want to share their work, uh, whether they've been working at it for years or whether just a short period of time because they don't want the rejection um, or they don't want to hear the criticism that people uh, may give, whether it's positive, negative, or helpful or not. But showing your work is extremely important. And I'm being extra transparent with you all by showing you these things because some time ago, I would have never done this. It, first of all, it took me a year, a one year to actually put videos up on my YouTube art channel. Um, and don't get me started about the FCC or the whatever they are. Listen, um, it took me a minute to get um, 
my videos up here now that I'm gonna I'm dealing with all these rules I don't even know if guys I'm gonna even do any more sketchbook Wednesdays let I have no idea but being that now I'm able to show my work and I built up a little bit of confidence I know this is only the seventh video but this is a big step you know I'm showing you a lot of things that I'm not familiar with definitely watercolor I feel like I'm a kindergartner trying to learn this stuff and for the first time or trying to take my first steps but I'm having a good time and I get to be myself authentically me I'm a clown <coughs> excuse me I'm serious I'm a clown I'm all those things I'm a Gemini y'all I'm a little bit crazy you know that so um, but I get to show my work I get to show what I can do I get to see my own improvements I get to see how comfortable I feel with the actual materials that I'm using and every every time that I turn around to actually um, I want to say actually every time that I turn around to do my sketchbook and to show to show you all the th different things that I'm doing or introducing to my life because I did not do this sketchbook before coming up here on YouTube it feels good because I do get compliments um, no one has really come to me and given me a negative com a negative comment or anything or DM me or, or anything like that but I mean I'm accepting of it all if you know something that you see me doing that you say well you know we do it usually like this because I'm telling you now I do not know about this watercolor stuff but it's pretty cool I like it but I'm open to someone wanting to help or show me a technique or anything like that and that's another thing about showing your work when you show your work and you can be honest and say you know I'm new to this guys if you want to reach out talk to me let me know what I could be doing different you know it helps to build a connection it helps to show that you are accepting of someone else's experience that you are teachable um, and to being teachable I want to say is something that is that's really big in any career but especially in art because you should be learning something new every day you should be um, experiencing and trying and achieving and failing and all those things um, and learning how to accept criticism when it comes to something so personal and dear which is your artwork but showing it is the only way you're gonna get out there and you're going to get anywhere now let's talk about it's not just on YouTube by doing videos not everyone is good with doing that not everyone is really comfortable um, not everyone has that desire especially now with those rules and regulations but don't get me started anywho <laughs> But you can go on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, your own website, and show your work, which I do have a website, so maybe I should be posting there too, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, you know, going on there and showing your work is a big population of people all over the world there to give you some information, tidbits, advice, and you never know what showing your work is gonna do for you. You may be able to strike a deal with a gallery, you may be able to find you're definitely going to find some customers now it's going to take time for you to find customers you're not going to find customers overnight guys let's just get real customers are not going to pop up overnight but if they do i'm not saying that it's it's far-fetched but i'm saying if they happen to pop up overnight hooray for you let me know down in the comments if you've gotten any customers you know what i'm saying let me know i want to know if you've gotten any customers from your instagram posts of showing your art or facebook if you gain customers that way um but promoting yourself showing even just showing your daily sketches just being active and because you know what that also makes you that makes you see growth and improvement in your work if you're gonna post say say you promise to post at least once a day something you've sketched you know what that does it gives you visibility 
okay? It, it helps all these yeah, stupid algorithms or whatever see you, uh, makes you quite visible to people and it builds some type of consistency. I don't care if you doodle on the back of your envelope, one of your bills, you know your electric bill that come. Yeah, take that, right? <laughs> and doodle on the back of that and um you know have fun with it have fun with it and post it you know if you go to a cafe you can just stop by get a cup of coffee get a cup of tea or just out with your friends and you have a napkin you should have a pen you should have a piece of paper or you should have a pen and a napkin or go ask for one and doodle on it do something cool a quick sketch some cross hatching post it and you know you remain active you remain live you're still showing work because you created it you know those things are really important guys being active showing your work and it makes people trust you a little bit more because they know what what people don't want and i think this goes across the board is someone who is inconsistent and i have had a big problem with that until lately I um, I have more than one business, which now I'm going back to doing too, but I have more than one business and I have been inconsistent on the social media part of it for a, quite some time now. So it made it hard for me, you know, it made it hard for people to trust me, people miss me, of course they know I'm in and out, everybody knows, yeah, okay, she's a mompreneur. Um, and she's busy, you know, she's married, she's got kids, she's running around and now I have a nine to five again. Good Lord, help me. So, you know, it's all about staying consistent though. It's not that I can't post. It's just that I got lazy and you don't want to do that. Especially if you're trying to build an art career, you want to make sure like you're around things change in the art world things change in business all around but when you're looking for buyers or looking to have buyers you definitely need to make sure you're being you know you're being upfront active they see you online everybody's just about online these days or their spouses or somebody their kids that's why we have these YouTube problems daggone kids online get them off it's like no <laughs> but anywho um yeah, so you, you just want to be active. You just want to show some work. Um, every day, I would say, every day show something. Let's talk about this painting really quick, this little sketchbook painting. I draw a female in his hair. I don't know why. I just did it. I thought it was overkill, but it came out. It wasn't too bad in the end. Um, the picture's okay to me. I'm not really digging it, but guess what? It it made it up here, right? You see, I put it up here. I wasn't going to back down. I wasn't going to pull anything out of the vault. This is what you was going to get. <laughs> because I also um, posted it on social media. It's something that I created. I'm not going to go um, and back away from it. If, it. if it was really, really horrible, guys, I understand. We have some pieces that we're just like, I'm not showing to the world. I'm just going to throw out. And, um, and this is something I thought about on the whim doing this. So it was okay if I did not put it out, but I said, you know what? No, whatever I, whatever I decide to sketch up and paint, however it's going to look is how it's going to look. And it's going out there because you need to see wins and fails. And I failed on a lot of this. I'm just going to let you know, it didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it to. I didn't do well. His teeth are raggedy. You, you gonna see some of that but I put a little grill on them top and bottom um, you know and it came out but I still showed the work the whole part of this is about showing the work now when I go to do another picture similar to this or draw another male I'm going to improve I'm gonna have my proportions a little bit better I'm gonna be understanding of color the colors I use a little bit more you know but if I don't if I don't show the work and go back and look at it and possibly look at comments you know comments are important guys so make sure you comment down below if you like this if you see any improvements that are necessary I know my camera angle isn't the best and I am coming with that video by the way to uh, talk about my setup because a young lady asked me to um, I am coming with that but um, I know it's not the best but you can at least see it <laughs> and let me know what you think about it if if you see some improvements necessary because there's always improvements honey i'm not perfect no one is um 
but you know you you stick your artwork out there to get that type of criticism and to build bonds you ever thought about that you know you find someone you think you're alone first of all most artists feel like sometimes they're alone if you don't connect with other art artists on the regular especially i i don't i do live in a town that's pretty artsy i must say and i'm very fortunate even though it's like a in the country uh, in a country type setting um, not too many people are fans of my art I don't believe I do you know things a little different but some people are and um, you know I do connect with the art community a little bit I just don't do it as much as I should most definitely I don't do it as much as I should I um, I tend to kind of shy away from that and that's another thing that I need to overcome and we all need to overcome something and that's one of the things that I need to overcome is showing my work to my local artists to the local artists around here and bonding with them and, and learning from them that's really important so that's something you should really try uh, I feel like you should try to seek that out in your own community and definitely on social media because you can reach so many wonderful people. I've made so many bonds through social media and especially with art and I get to see other artists and I love their work and they're all unique and everyone's different and it's just beautiful. I know it sounds like a sappy story but um, I, for, from a person who like me who's not sappy like that, I'm really happy that I met a lot of these wonderful artists and I get to share ideas with them. Uh, we're all different and I love it. I cannot explain that to you any more than what I just have. Um, yeah, so you get out there, show your work, take the criticism and don't be upset if someone says something negative. Let that roll off your shoulder until they can show you what they can do it's just words you know it's just words and if they can do better than you i mean give them kudos for real if they do better than you <coughs> then let that be known so i guess on that note <coughs> i'm up here choking y'all hold on sit the throat dry <laughs> Don't ask about the bullseye. I thought I was just trying to do something cool and funky up in the hair, y'all, okay? I ain't know what I was doing. I was winging it, just freestyling. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all I can tell you to do. So I won't talk your ear off anymore. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know how much longer the video is. Um, shouldn't be much longer. But you can see all the fun little things I'm doing. And, yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That be it. So go ahead, finish up, and we'll watch the rest of the video. And I shall talk to you wonderful people next time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, please, and comment below. And uh, turn on the notification bell. I really don't know. I want to keep doing these videos, guys, but YouTube tripping right now. And you got some of their big time people that been up here for years with 2.3 million, you know, followers and all that talking crazy about their channel and being fine. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I don't want to say I'm going to, I'm going to stop doing these videos. I just got started. You know what I'm saying? So I want to really keep doing this. But I do have a website, guys. So the website is misoriginator at gmail.com. Oh, that's my Gmail. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. My, <laughs> my website is misoriginator.com or mzoart.com. That's where I have all my artwork. I'm going to have my art blog um, coming up soon. I'm going to start so you'll be able to read different things and also you'll be able to subscribe to my art newsletter see when different products and things are coming out but I'm trying to hold off to that to the new year because I have so much other stuff going on and you can go check out those other things those other projects over on um, misoriginator.com you can see all the other things that I got going on in my world you know what I'm saying go check those out and yeah that's it so i'm gonna finish this up i'm gonna shut my wonderful big small fat mouth all that yeah oxymorons 
I'm gonna shut up now and let you enjoy the video go and subscribe share and comment let me know that may help me stay on the channel guys all right now peace out deuces Vanna black gonna see you later <laughs>